Guys, this is a short-term question, right? In the big picture, I'm well aware that this will work itself out. But if we look at it in the very short term, right now, right here, why should Connor and Weidman come back? And there's got to be an answer. And you need to support the idea even if you don't like it because those guys are in a different process. They're in a rehab process. They're in a rehabilitation process, which takes motivation as well. The physical therapy and all the stuff that goes into that the tricks that I would imagine it plays on your mind. I mean, it needs some support. But why are they coming back? And what is it they're coming back to? It's a very interesting question. I mean, they both have this injury, and they're both fighters. They're both tough guys. And they both aspire, and neither one of them wants to go down. But it, it does at some point become the same problem that every gambler and every alcoholic has to face. One more drink. It's my last one. One more pull of the slot, just one more. It's my last one. It ends up that same thing in fighting. And why would the result change? Like what got better? Particularly if you're out and injured, you're not in the gym, you're not growing, you're not switching workout partners, you're not switching regimens or teammates, which generally doesn't work anyway, but it's at least a lie that you can tell yourself, right? I, I, did, I, did, I did this. I know what I'm talking about. I did it. I'm just sharing with you, what, what are we doing? And then particularly, let's, let's take Connor, right? If Weidman comes back, Weidman was one of the guys when he left, very meaningful, tougher than hell. If he comes back to that same spot, he's one of the guys. He's very meaningful. He's very tough. He's not going to be a main eventer. He's not a championship fight. He's one of the guys. Is that something you come back to? Is that something that you really want to come back to, to be one of the guys? I'm asking a question, by the way. I'm not passing judgment here. I'm just looking at it and going, okay, but if you do come back, and we know for sure you can't have gotten better, you can't get better by sitting at home doing rehab, right? I mean, you, you, you see my point. So if the result isn't going to change, how many more do we need? How many more drinks? How many more pulls of the slot? What are we doing here and why? Very open to an answer. I'm just asking the question. Connor's is a little bit more complicated. Why Connor is a master of building a fight, at least for today, there's only one form, which is Poirier. If Poirier beats Oliveira, when Connor comes back, when Connor would have to fight for a world championship, which is ridiculous. So what do you do? You just have a little bit fun now, you rehab the whole thing, and then you steer the ship a little bit later. You steer it back to Nate Diaz, or you manufacture conflict with somebody else, or you have one to get back as a way of qualifying, and then you get to fight Dustin for the championship if Dustin won, or Dustin loses to Poirier. Now, all of a sudden, he's on a loss, and now he can fight Connor again for the fourth time. It just gets weird. The whole thing gets very strange because it's tough to answer the question why? I want there to be an answer, I want there to be an outlook. I want there to be something positive, but if you're just coming back to be one of the guys and or attempt to remedy a situation, right? They're, they're in two opposite spots, but you're left with the same question of what is this for and how many more times are we going to do it? And is it just, hey, look, if we bring you back and everything goes great and you get a win, are you out? Do you promise you're leaving? There's, there's just a one back. You proved you could beat this energy. You proved it could come back. It'll be a real positive story, but you exit stage left, or what do we have to do? Do I got to bring you back one time, let you get beaten, and then I got to cut you? I got to talk to you in a back room, tell you to stop it. I mean, what is the deal here? How many more times are we going to go out there, try to punch somebody, and try not to get punched by them back, right? It's, it's one of those things. And those guys are true fighters. I'm not passing judgment. I respect the hell out of them. Those guys are true fighters. They get up when it's hard. They answer the bell when they're down. I don't know if there's a better example of two fighters than what Weidman and, and Connor are going through right now. But after they climb that mountain, we still have to answer the question, who are you going to fight and why? And for how many more times? It's a tough spot. Everybody gets brought into that. Coach Kavanaugh waited on that with Connor. I want to say it was after the Floyd fight, before Connor even came back to MMA. Coach Kavanaugh said, before I train him, I need to know why we're here. I didn't know what this was about. Is this about a world championship? Is this about just making a little bit of splash? Is this about having some fun? What is this for? And he said, I won't train him until I get that answer. Now, they didn't share with the rest of the world how that conversation went or if Coach Kavanaugh got his answer, but I trust that he did. But that was a redult, responsible adult move by Coach Kavanaugh to even bring that to attention. 
I'm attempting to do the same thing. And in some part, it's none of my business. But the other part, I am a fan. I do observe it. I do have a level of knowledge because of my experience and time within the sport. As I do look at that situation, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Because it will be one hell of a comeback story to rehab, fix that, and get on with it. But if it's about a cash grabber, you're, you're tempted to return to a main card or an opening fight, or if Connor's attempting to return against Poirier, who's one one away from being the champion, like th things start to get a little bit weird. And it's just a conversation. This isn't resolved. I don't attempt to resolve it. I wish very much those guys the best of luck. Very much. The question is going to have to be answered eventually either way. Either way, at some point, you're going to have to say, this is my last walk. So how many more drinks or how many more pulls or how many, any level of addiction, they're addicted to the sport. But it's still a problem that you have to deal with sooner or later.